You'll never guess what happened to me. So my daughter Priscilla, who's in the ninth grade at Gull Lake High School in Michigan, sends me a text. And this is that text that every dad hates to see. Dad, there's a kid with a gun in his backpack sitting right behind me in math class. What should I do? I'll tell you the ending of that story in just a minute. Same thing happened two years ago. I get another series of texts. And I don't know why I save all these texts on my phone, but I have years of texts. But this is what I experienced that Saturday morning. My daughter and my wife were at the Beechwood Mall in Cleveland, Ohio, when a shooter decides to show up. And here's the text that I received from my daughter as she was, my wife was too panicked to text me. That was two strikes for me. I'm not waiting for the third ball. And enough for me to take action and create what I call the gunshot box. Yes, thankfully I was fortunate that the outcome was good in our situation for our family. Unlike the Sutherland Springs pastor, Frank Pomeroy, who lost his 14 year old daughter and about 25 other prisoners that Sunday morning in Texas. Well, to finish the stories, the principal at the high school, thankfully, was able to de-escalate the student situation and remove the firearm before discharge. And in the mall shooting, that ended up with, I don't know, two or three injuries, nothing too serious. As I was working later on an active shooter response training for a nonprofit that needed a safety team assembled, one of the trainers from the Kaposi group, Rick, asked me to help with the training of these 100 staff or so. He says, Tim, I just need you to stand in the back. I need you to take these 10 balloons and just blow them up. So I'm back there <laughs> blowing up. 10 balloons and he said when I say the code word any more questions that's your cue to initiate the popping of the balloons so I'm back there I uh, get the code word I'm popping the balloons and I'm like this is not very realistic and that's when the gunshot box was born the idea really came from that the gunshot box creates recreates gunshots electronically with a real flash and about 125 decibel bang and it doesn't use speakers or amplifiers. Uh, for force on force training, the instructors have appreciated the ability to remotely control the timing as they're running the trainees through the drills and just being able to have the control and on demand explosions or gunshots. So, but if you're like me, our biggest concern is making sure that we have done everything in our ability to protect the folks under our watch. And when a bad day occurs, we will be able to sleep at night knowing that we did our best and utilized all our resources to protect those around us. Our goal at Scenario Trainer Inc. is to equip and prepare heroes like yourself. And together, we'll save lives. Thanks for hearing my story. And in the next 90 seconds, I want to show you what the gunshot box can do for your training. How will you react? With confidence? Or with cowardice? Rehearse your reactions on location. Now you can create realistic training drills on site with scenario trainer tools such as the Shotbox, a remotely controlled electronic gunfire simulation system. Prior to the shot box, we simulated gunshots by smacking boards together, popping balloons, firing starter pistols, or using costly non-lethal training ammo, blanks, or even dry firing paintball markers. The shot box is remote controlled and ready to fire on demand. No reloading, no expendables, no gunpowder, no compressed gas, no speakers or soundtracks. Our shot box blast is created by sophisticated electronics, yielding a high voltage discharge. This repeatable, realistic explosion is at a safe 125 decibels. Shot box, preparing heroes.